What research lab doesn't care about a good return on investment for their spending? The last five years has marked an increase in the level of scrutiny applied to projects to assure maximum return on investment. The early design process demands greater economic analysis of life cycle costs to reduce operating and energy costs and optimize environmental performance. Research facilities, particularly those involving chemicals, biologics, and nanotechnology are expensive to build and operate given the large volumes of outside air needed for ventilation. Most lab owners are aware that the utility loads and once through air requirements can make designing an energy efficient lab a challenge. However, demand-based systems and more efficient engineering can yield operational savings. High performance and low flow fume hoods and air and lighting monitoring systems are examples of enhanced efficiency designs, while fan coils, chill beams, and variable refrigerant systems are more common to reduce the lab's heat load. Both active and passive chill beams have become more popular in the HVAC industry, and most of these technologies combined together can provide a return on investment within one year for research lab facilities. While HVAC systems get a lot of attention in terms of energy conservation, electrical and lighting loads are also significant energy consumers. Sustainable lighting strategies in laboratories typically incorporate three key approaches, singly or in combination, high efficiency linear lighting systems, day lighting, and occupancy sensors to reduce energy use. Experts in the laboratory design industry are looking at LED lighting as the go-to technology for high-performance buildings as more available and cost-effective luminaries change the rapid adaptation of the technology. The technology offers the potential for cutting general lighting energy use nearly in half by 2030. However, the greatest potential for lighting energy savings is to turn off the lights completely when not needed. Occupancy sensors are now mandated by energy code in most laboratories. Overall, the use of occupancy sensors within a laboratory setting can reduce lighting energy by 10 to 30 percent if they are implemented correctly. Payback on the technology can be seen one to two years after implementation. Thanks for tuning in to R&D Chat. I'm Lindsay Hawk, Managing Editor of R&D Magazine.